Hey guys, this is Galactic from Galactic Tutorials, and I was going to make a video on which screen recording software you should use for both Windows and Mac. I use QuickTime Pro, but when I was trying to do my Windows part of the tutorial, no matter how you put it, there is no good free software for Windows that records. I was using EasyVid, that sucks. Uh, Fraps, you have to really purchase to get the full version, and Bandicam has this little, like, link on the top of your video. Like, I literally couldn't find a single good free video recording software, so if you can find one, just leave one in the comment section, and I'll review it. But, uh, in the meantime, let's, uh, talk about wine bottle, because you want those fantastically crappy Windows recording softwares on your computer, right? Because you don't want your free QuickTime Pro that comes with Apple that I record with. You want Wine Bottler to record with uh, shitty programs like EasyVid and um, other crap. So, Wine Bottler is basically an application that allows you to uh, use Windows applications like uh, Pivot Stick Figure right over here and a uh, variety of other .exe applications. Uh, the link is in the description. It's pretty simple to download uh, it's downloading right now okay so uh, I downloaded it the downloading time was pretty long so that's why I didn't uh, show you guys anyway so once you've downloaded it, simply just drag wine and wine bottle into this and your applications folder don't ask me why it's called this and don't ask me why it uh, looks like that because I uh, simply don't know as you can tell I've already downloaded it uh, then once you've done that just uh, open it up Ah, where are you, one buzzer? Yes, check automatically. Click check automatically. Uh, it should just uh, open this window for you, and any Windows applications on your computer should pop up. Uh, it should. You can set up whatever you want on here. Uh, you could you could install whatever the heck you want. You can install different types of uh, applications. So I don't feel like doing that. I'm just going to take my .exe application and simply open it up. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, I had a little bit of technical difficulties, but yeah, all you have to do is double click that .exe and it opens quite simply. So yeah, um, this is quite a short video, I'm not even going to lie, it's actually really, it's really simple, but a lot of people don't know how to use it, so if you know any people with Mac computers, just tell them that they can actually use Windows applications with this program. Um, as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, like uh, any normal window, uh, like it would act on a normal Windows computer. I could save it, and it saves to kind of a weird location. Like I think, yeah. Um, it, it kind of like turns your entire like. Uh, file system into Windows, like just going through this application. So if you want to save it to a specific place, you could save it to um, that specific place. Like, um, But if you if you want to know where um, the program is actually in, it's, uh, it's the, the program file is actually right over here. Uh, it's through Wine, Prefixes, and then whatever your program name is called, and it creates a little kind of like own little Windows program file system, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to save it in my documents, so uh, right over here, and I'll save it, and, oh wait, I should probably name it something, I'll name it as stuff, and as you can see, it's right over here, and, uh, what is it, ASDF, where are you, there you go, and when I open it, I can't really open it, but if I wanted to load it, I could, so, yeah, I hope this helped you, um, Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.